What is going on, my outdoor crew? It's day three of my East Tennessee adventure. Final day, cleanup day, pack up day. We're not through exploring yet. So, woke up to another foggy morning as you can see. I knew that was going to happen. The humidity is so stupid for this time of year. I mean, it's crazy. I'm going to walk over here. I don't think I can get it. Can't really see the lake very much. Or I could in the wintertime. Trees are not so green. But the lake is just right there. Well, wait a minute. Zoom me out. Yeah, let me see the lake. Right through there. But anyway, I'm going to get everything packed up. Um. Because they all did phenomenal. Um, everything else did great. Um, so, where am I going to go next? Well, not sure. Um, had a couple of thoughts. I think first thing I'm going to do is pound down a uh, granola bar and a Celsius. Get a little mojo going. Uh, finish packing up in the tent. Actually, all I gotta do is bring the cot out, collapse it, put it in the bed of the truck. The downside, everything is kind of moisture wet <laughs> from the dew and the humidity. But I think, uh, of course, I'm gonna put everything back up when I get home. I'm gonna clean out the floor of the gazelle this week sometime or something but that'd be easy i can just pop it up and do it that way backyard but it's been a really cool three days really enjoyed the youtuber meetup um, i'm sure you've already seen that video by now and then yesterday with going to chuck swan that was really cool and uh had a great time but uh it's not a bad campsite the bathrooms are way out of the way you have to go up these steps or get in the truck and drive up there or find a tree but uh you know, it's just these three together and then you got a bunch over there um but uh wildlife wise it's kind of interesting uh a random house cat that's run or suit every now and then. At first, and he caught me off guard, I heard him walking up. And uh, I looked around, and just out of the glimpse of my eye, his colors and everything, I thought it was a bobcat, a little small bobcat sitting there. I was like, whoa! <laughs> and I realized it was a house cat. Normal, typical house cat. So. Anyway, I think I will leave you with a few minutes of the sounds I will shut up talking and then we'll get everything loaded in the truck and get gone Interesting enough, I just got a warning on my, from Weather Channel, dense fog advisory. No kidding. <clears throat> All right, let me get this thing packed up. Uh, we'll get out of here in a little bit. Okay, let's pick it up from the beginning of the campsites. So, 
here's where you would enter. It's one way, it's supposed to be one way. Even though I saw an RV coming out this direction, everybody's having to dive off the road. This is the bathhouse I'm talking about. This is number one. This is the newest one. And it's got the benches and everything in it. If you, in dry spot before you get in the shower and you know, uh, there's two handicap spots right in front of it. So actually, I think that's a third. Mm, yeah, because it's all concrete. Uh, then all of them are back in. They're at an angle. There's some room in these. Um, that one, I don't like at all. Because all your living area is up above up above your camping area. Somebody left their paper towels out to be wet all day. Now, I didn't go down through here, but this is where Travis, TN Outdoor Fanatic, was camped. I'm not sure what spot, but this gets you down by the lake. And I know they were putting their kayaks in. Once again, you're not near a bathroom. Um, but if you got a camper, it doesn't matter squirrel posing on the fire grate but these are not too terribly bad I mean squirrel that one so I don't like the way they did that one you're kind of on top of each other um, these are okay then you got these back here Yeah, there's 15, 16, you're right on the water. I mean, that's not a bad view at all. If that's what you want. It's got a good view of the lake. Oh, the fish jump. But, let's see. Turn around. Uh, yeah, uh, I like that. That's a pretty nice camper. Or two. But anyway, that's these lower spots. Yeah, I don't know. None of them really impressed me, but you would have waterfront access, I guess, that would be the the big key, big draw. You might have some waterfront access to get down to. Damn, they left half a tree in that one. Anyway. Yeah, he's here for a while. He got a satellite dish and stuff stuck up there. He's ready on. So we're back around to where I stay. So anyway, that's it. Hold up, dude. Anyway, that's it. For the campsite tour. Not a bad campsite. Um, kind of killing time. I want the park office to open so I can get a sticker, but there's the lake again. Lake Norse. I don't know if it was named after Chuck or not. Probably not. Here you had to fish kind of deep out here to catch anything right now in this water. But it's a pretty lake. This is another TVA lake that they flooded a valley to make a lake. Kind of like Percy Priest, where I live, and Center Hill, a couple others. They literally hey, 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 they flood the valley and make it a lake. I always hear all the stories about Percy Priest that there's still, there. well, I'm sure they're since he wrote it away, but there were still houses and stuff in there when they flooded the thing. And they're just underwater but anyway i'll be back in a little bit it's enough rambling all right guys so refueled the truck got some coffee it wiggles we i don't know we don't have these around nashville and stuff but there it is but i said i was going to get a little something something to eat you know because all i have is a um protein bar That's gonna need something better than that to get through the morning so this is their version of a sausage and biscuit the sausage is inside 
Yep, there it is. <laughs> Not bad. Matter of fact, they've got that figured out because, I mean, you're not holding, trying to hold on to the sausage and the biscuit and everything while you're driving. So they got that figured out. All right, we'll get refueled in the tank as we drive and let's get out of here. All right, guys, so I'm coming up I 75 to Indian Mountain State Park. Got 12 miles to go. But I have got to say this. Now, I've been, I've been to the Smokies plenty of times. But I think this is one of the prettiest drives. I've been to Mont Eagle Mountain, but I think coming up through here on 75 is probably one of the prettiest drives I've been on. And it's a constant climb coming from Big Ridge State Park. Once you get uh, probably, gosh, 10 or 12 miles away from the park, then you start climbing on I-75. And it's a, it's a constant climb. And you can see the mountains in front of you as you're going up and um it, it's just it's gorgeous up there here um i guess i've never been up 75 before i've been up through towards bristol and it's pretty but this is this is a whole nother thing coming up through here but anyway i just had to share that so i went to a spot that I've never been there, but the song is embedded in me. Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top. Rocky Top, Tennessee. Go Vols! I had to throw that in. Three, two, one. Okay, so you would think Indian Mountain State Park would be on the mountains. That's far from the truth. It's actually at the base of the mountains. And Indian Mountain State Park is located near Jellicoe, Tennessee. Uh, Jellicoe actually got its name from the coal that was mined out of the mountains up here. Um, a lot of Canadians over here. A bunch of geese. Anyway, um, so it's a small park. It's actually only 200 acres is what I read, was 200 acre park. So it's not a very big park. They do have camping. Uh, the little lake here looks like it's probably a man, well, yeah, it's probably a man-made lake. Pretty neat little park though. Um, oh, good Lord. Nice speed bumps, people. But uh, you would not have any shade, I can tell you that. Um, looking at the, the um, thing at, at the campgrounds we're driving along. Um, let me see if I can ease over this one. Do not enter. Okay. So, and I'll tell you this too for you tent campers that are looking for a place to stay. Uh, they do have some tent sites, but you have to park and carry all your stuff down to them. I'm not a fan of that. Um, all their other sites are concrete pads. I don't see any um, campers on the Their playground got general fair back in sites. They look like they're fairly easy to back in. Um, it is a small fairly small campground. I mean, if you're, um, you know, you're on top of each other for sure, but it's, it's a neat little place. Um, there is no shade at any of these camping spots. Well, over here there's a little, but there's, and there's still, there's nowhere really to uh, pitch a tent for say. Um, but if you got an RV, it's a good place. Be a cool one. But anyway, we're going to look at things and see where else we can go and then move on.
do not know what in the hell Google is trying to do to me right now, but it has sent me down this road trying to get to Crossville from Jellico, and folks, this thing is dangerous. I don't understand what Google's doing, but I'm basically going through um, Obed. And I, I mean, it's cool and all, but it's dangerous. I mean, I've already passed two cars and like had to take the ditch just about just to get past them because it's one lane. You see how, see what I'm dealing with? It is one lane. Holy crap. Why did Google bring me this way? I know there's better roads, and I don't know, maybe I've got something wrong on my settings on the GPS part of the Google, but this is nuts, y'all. I mean, I just, that bridge I just went across back there holy crap and from I mean all of that coming up through here why why would it send me this way I don't get it y'all I mean this is crazy that's why I had to turn the camera on but you talk about puckering I've been puckered since I've been on it because like I said the locals, they're not doing 15, 20 miles an hour down this road. They're doing 45 and 50 because they know it. I don't. And I mean, I passed a guy in an Astro van and he like took the ditch trying to pass me at 100 miles an hour. I mean, look at this. This is not right. Why would Google send me this way, y'all? Oh, I'm glad I didn't close out the video because this has got to be in it. I'm almost to the end of it, but I, you know, I, I white, I didn't even white knuckle at Chuck Swan the other day. Chuck Swan. I did not white knuckle at it as much as I, I mean, I, I'm going to have to like let the blood flow come back into my fingers on this road. This is crazy. And I'm not going fast. I'm, trust me, I maybe, uh, I'm doing 25. But, I, and I'm almost to the end of it. But this is the way it's been since I turned on to it. And I can't figure out for the life of me why Google would have sent me down this road. Let me know if Google does that to y'all too. And this is not the first time I've had it happen where I'm using Google Maps, pick the fastest route, and then all of a sudden it dumps me on this one lane road that... In a quarter mile, turn right onto Tennessee 298 South Genesis Road. God, I hope it's better than this one. But I, I just don't get it. Why would, why would you make this part of the route? Whew. I am so... Tennessee 298 South please be road. big two lane road. Yes. Man. I had to bring it to you, but I mean, look at this. Why couldn't it? I, I don't understand it. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get to Bucky's. This is taking me straight to Bucky's. But anyway, all right. I'm going to shut it off for now. Okay. I'm out of the rain. Just about. Knew it wasn't going to be in very long. Shannon, I thought you was going east. Anyway, those of you who know, you know. I got an hour and 25 minutes till I'm at home. And uh, I would say I'm ready to be home, but I'm not ready to be home. I could go another couple of days and explore and do more. Made it to Bucky's, and as you can see, barely. <laughs> Man, that last road that it threw me on. I don't understand it. I've got to look at what's going on with Google because I know I've got you know interstates and all that selected to take but man it threw me down that one road and whoo my fingers have just now got the blood circulating back in them but I appreciate you watching I hope you've enjoyed the 
East Tennessee series. Um, next series of anything that'll be coming up will be Chattanooga. So appreciate you watching. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Please leave that thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. And please share these things with everybody else, you know. Trying to break that 4,000 watch hour moment so I can get monetized, finally. But without your help, it ain't going to happen. So help me out all you can. I'm sure appreciate it. For now, see you later. Hope you've enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Be prepared.